Good evening, tasty liquor lovers. Welcome to Swill and Grog's beer review number 24. And this evening we have Bud Light, or Budweiser Light, as it was uh, first known when it was uh, introduced by Anheuser Busch in 1982. Uh, it's a 4.2% alcohol by volume, and uh, like I said, brewed by Anheuser Busch in St. Louis, Missouri. Uh, this isn't available, well, at least widely available in Australia. I actually had to acquire this from a uh, an online store here. Um, in all honesty, I've never seen it in the shops. The only bud that uh, seems to be available here is just your standard uh, Budweiser. But anyway, I thought it would be uh, interesting to get a hold of this to uh, do a review on. So uh, here I am reviewing Bud Light, um, which I only tasted for the first time a few days ago, as a matter of fact. But uh, anyway, um, what more can I tell you about this? It comes in this uh, lovely 355ml or 12 fluid ounce bottle. Um, yeah, and it has a rather different uh, label than uh, yeah your standard Budweiser. Anyhow, um, yeah, I think we should uh, open this up and uh, pour it into a nice ice cold glass and make an assessment of it. All right, so it's a twist top, just like the regular Bud. Okay, I didn't see any smoke come out of that, but then again. Um, yeah, I wasn't paying that much attention to it. But, anyhow, <clears throat> let's uh, pour it uh, into this glass. Alright. Okay. Jeez, it is, uh, it's very fizzy. Um, yeah. Hmm, that head's almost uh, non-existent. Uh, hmm. Still, there's a lot of uh, bubbles rushing to the top of the glass there. Hmm. All right. Anyhow, let's just uh, have a smell. Hmm. What I smell is mostly a very mild smell of uh, corn and uh, and malt, but um, it's it's not very pronounced. Hmm. All right. Now, yeah, I forgot to mention the appearance. Uh, yeah. Well, it's a it's a very very pale uh, yellow color. Very, very transparent, you know, it's, uh, yeah, it's almost like just a, a light yellow water, almost. Um, the camera's really capturing just how, how, uh, pale this is. Hmm. All right. <clears throat> well, without further ado, let's get to the most important part, the taste. All right. Well, initially, it um, tastes very much like Budweiser does. It's um, it's uh, very sweet and uh, malty, but um, yeah, I mean, yeah, it's it's it is quite watery. Um, it, it that becomes noticeable quite quickly, and uh, yeah, I mean. Um, <clears throat> Yeah, it's not something that, um, you know, I particularly like, um, you know, in beers. Um, yeah, it's not like, you know, Budweiser itself is really a terribly, you know, full-bodied beer. Um, you know, it's more your light, clean, clean and crisp, refreshing type, uh, you know, beer that's, uh, 
you know, very well balanced and, uh, yeah, and, and, you know, refreshing. Um, but this, yeah, it's, um, yeah, it's, it's, it's quite watery and, uh, yeah, I mean, it, it almost tastes like, um, just, um, <clears throat> pardon me, <clears throat> it almost tastes just like, uh, regular Budweiser mixed with, uh, mixed with soda water. Yeah, um, but, I mean, in terms of drinkability, it's, uh, you know, something that, uh, you could obviously slam down with ease. But anyhow, um, let me just have a little bit more of this. Oh. As I drink more of it, it's um, unfortunately really losing big time in the flavour department. Yeah, I mean it's really watery and uh, you know really lacking in flavour. I'm afraid to say, um, and it just becomes more and more noticeable as you uh, you know as you gulp down more of it. Hmm. Oh. Mm. Yeah, that initial taste, um, you know, where it almost just tastes like regular Budweiser's. Yeah, pretty much, um, yeah, it's just not at all apparent, like, by the time, you know, uh, you get halfway through the glass. Anyhow, um, I think I said that, uh, yeah, I mean, it would certainly rate highly in, in terms of drinkability, just, uh, yeah, because it's so watery, you could just, uh, you know, slam down huge quantities of it. Um, it's really lacking in the flavour department, uh, though. Um, yeah, I mean, I've, I've had beers that are less than, you know, 4.2%, and, you know, they've still been quite flavourful, uh, believe it or not. So, um, yeah, what does this, um, yeah, what conclusion... Um, what I draw from, uh, yeah, my Bud Light experience here, and, uh, yeah, what, uh, what rating would I be inclined to, uh, give it? I'm not terribly, a conclusion I would draw is that, um, it's, it's not a terribly impressive beer, unfortunately. Um, I'd expect a lot better from, uh, Anheuser-Busch. But, um, anyhow, uh, as for a rating out of 10... Hmm, I'm afraid to say that I'd probably only give it a 5.5 out of 10. So there you go. Hmm, yeah, rather, a rather disappointing outcome for uh, Bud Light, I'm afraid. But uh, anyhow, uh, next time I've definitely got something truly excellent in store for you all. So, um, that sadly brings us to the end of yet another Swill and Grog beer review. So, until next time, fare the well.